Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And it looks like another Fox personality has come out of the closet as being a Trump hater, somebody that is unwilling to uh, push for Trump or, of course, uh, continue to stand up for him against the mainstream media and the Democrat Party as we see them continuing to destroy our nation from within with these absolute disastrous bills like the new one, the Inflation Reduction Act or whatever, that has nothing to do with inflation. All it does is a Green New Deal spending package that they gave themselves in order to continue to pay their friends off. Uh, but this Fox News personality, I'm quite surprised, not really surprised, because she has ties to Sean Hannity. So I'm not really surprised about this. Uh, but Laura Ingram has now come out and says, maybe it's time for us to move on from Trump uh, before the 2024 election. And again, you know, I'm a very strong supporter of DeSantis. I would love to see DeSantis to be president someday, but not yet. DeSantis is still needed in Florida, and we don't, um, we still have Trump has some unfinished business to do with a swamp. And I think this next term with Trump going to office, he can hopefully, with the support of a more of America First Congress, get rid of a lot of the bureaucrats and deep state that we are currently seeing and make way for a president of DeSantis in 2028. That's what at least my uh, theory and hope is. But anyway, let's go ahead and, um, and take a look at this article. But before we dive all the way into it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, smash that super thanks as well. So, of course, we have uh, this coming to us from Just News. And just a side note real quick, Brett Baer was the latest one to come out against Trump recently so that's three fox news hosts within the course of the last few months that we know of i'm sure there will be more to follow but laura ingram this is what she said so let's go ahead and take a look at this article fox laura ingram says exhausted voters may be ready to turn the page on trump she said um she said americans are exhausted by the battle involving trump fox news host laura ingram said americans may be exhausted with the political battle and decide that it's time to turn the page on former President Trump as he decides to whether to run for re-election in 2024. People conflate Trump with people's overall sense of happiness in the country. Donald Trump has been a friend of mine for 25 years. I'm always very open about this on my show, Ingram said on Monday, uh, on the Truth with Lisa Booth podcast. But you know, we'll see whether that's what the country wants. She also said the country, I think, is so exhausted. They're exhausted by the battle, the constant battle, that they may believe that, well, maybe it's time to turn the page if we can get someone who has all Trump's policy, but who's not Trump. Trump remains the top of the 2024 candidate among Republican voters, with his popularity growing after the FBI's raid on his Mar Largo, according to a recent poll. And see, this is the problem with people like Lauren Ingram, Sean Hannity's of the world, right? is that they don't have the stomach for the fight. The fight's long. No one said the fight was going to be quick, simple, and painless, right? The fight is going to be a long fight. And if we can have somebody that's a fighter who can fight, somebody like Trump, then that's what we need right now. The American people does not want to satisfy for a Mike Pence establishment candidate, what whatever Fox is trying to push right now. We need someone that's going to be willing to battle. And right now, Trump is the best candidate for that. And with Fox currently trying to turn their backs on him, again, have not had Trump on their network for over 100 days. Sean Hannity was someone who suggested to Trump that we should that he should pardon Hunter Biden when he was still president and then a attend the inauguration of Joe Biden after all the funny business that took place in the 2020 election. Uh, you know where these people stand. Fox News also called people like Brett Baird, called the Arizona election minutes after the polls closed in Arizona. This Fox News corporation is aligned against Trump and aligned against America first. They want to go back to normal. They want to go back to the days where we had establishment candidates, people like Romney and McCain. So that way we can get back to just talking about things and not actually getting any of those things done. And it was very apparent during the Congress that Trump had when we had the House and Senate, they could not even get the wall funded. But sure, we go ahead and get tax cuts done, but we can't do anything else. Couldn't even get rid of Obamacare, couldn't get rid of anything like that because the House was too weak, filled with establishment shills who 
were upset that Trump had won, and they much rather had had it worked under a Hillary Clinton presidency. And that's a fact. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me in all my social media, including Odyssey and Gab. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, leave a let's go, Brandon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day. Thank you.